weeks. Let's talk about the next gen generation. Where are they? They're on Discord. They're on Twitch. They're on TikTok. They're on YouTube. Building massive communities around gaming and streaming and science, technology, engineering, and math. They're not afraid of technology. They live in it. And yet we can't even we can't seem to show them how ham radio is technology. Instead, we'll tell them it's too expensive, too complicated, or they need to, they'll need to earn it like they did in the 80s. We laugh when they call two meters the ham walkie channel. And let's be real, leadership hasn't really helped. The AWRL, the organization that's supposed to protect and promote the amateur radio hobby, kind of to me still feels like it's stuck in 1995. The magazine has pretty much disappeared. Yes, you can get it on your iPad, but it's pretty much disappeared. Programs are disappearing, and the outreach just isn't connecting with modern audience. We can do more. And I'm opening myself back up to the AWRL. You know, I dismissed them a while back. But we've got to do more. We've got to incentivize these kids to join the hobby. And when I say kids, I mean anybody from kids my, my, my children's age all the way up to the early 20s. We've got to get them in the hobby, folks. We've, we've just got to. Where's the effort to bring radio back into schools, maker spaces, and even storm spotter networks? Instead, we get bureaucracy and politics and excuses. And the future of this hobby doesn't live in Newington, Connecticut. It lives in us.